So now we have two problems in our weather chatbot application, which is the first problem is that the user here types anything he wants, and then the temperature and the description or the weather forecast will be returned to him or her. And we don't want that. We want to let the user specify the city that he wants to get its weather forecast. And also, here, we are returning weather forecast of New York City. And we don't want that. We want to return the weather forecast of any city. of Basically, of the city that the user lives in or interested in uh, knowing its weather uh, forecast. So how can we do that? How can we kind of be clear with the user and let the user know that this is a, uh, a chatbot weather uh, application and kind of prompt the user to type and give us the city that he wants to know its weather conditions. So to do that, first of all, to do that, we need in our HTML, uh, in, in our index.html, we need to send a an initial message instead of here hi there you can you can first say hi there and then you can display another message that says which which city do you want to know its weather its weather uh, conditions or forecast forecast and then the user should type a city so now we are clear and also here you can type whether whether uh, whether whether chat chatbot application and and on top of that we want to get the city from the user so the user here the user here is going to type user text the user here should type actually a uh, city. So this user text should be the city. So we need to get it, we need to get the city and then pass it, pass it we already have, by the way we already have it here because this, this user, this user uh, text is basically the text that the user has typed here. So the user is going to type here a city and once the user provides the city to us we want Instead here, instead of passing New York City, each time we make a request, we need to pass here, we need to pass the city that the user is going to provide us. So I'm going to say here user, user text, which is basically the, the city that the user is going to provide us. So now we will be able to make a request and get a, uh, a weather condition of a specific city, a city that the user wants to know its weather, weather forecast. And finally we just return and return the result to the user. Now if you save and if you head on over back to your uh, browser and refresh, you'll find that it's different. As you can see here we have weather chatbot application and then, and then here say, it says uh, hi there and then which say which, which city, uh, rather, do you want to know its weather uh, condition or weather uh, forecast? So I'm going to type here, for example, San Diego. San Diego. And then I'm going to hit enter or click on send. And guess what? Now it's going to return the temperature and the, um, the description of the weather in San Diego. So it worked. It worked, and now... Let me type something else. Instead of San Diego, let's type, um, I don't know, let's say Los Angeles. And then let me hit enter. And now it's going to return the temperature and the uh, weather condition uh, or description of the weather in, in Los Angel Angeles. So it worked. It worked. And by the way, again, you can display more information and you can customize the message that you want to return to the user. So you don't have to return just this. You can customize this. You can customize this in the index.html. Instead of, instead of using this P and uh, span, you can use other elements. And here, instead of typing temp, you can type temperature. So here you can type uh, temperature instead. And you can here say conditions, conditions.
and of course you can, you can get conditions um, you can get more more information such as the humidity if you wish to display the humidity the pressure so the humidity for example if you want to display the humidity humidity you would say you would first access the main and then the humidity so I'm gonna first here here I'm gonna say I'm gonna say plus and then here another plus and then I'm gonna say humidity and then in order to access the humidity basically we need to say here data and then dot uh, dot uh, dot main and then dot humidity and now if you save and of course here we need to add plus now if you save and refresh guess what you should get the humidity as well so for example I'm gonna say again San Diego and then send and it's gonna return the temperature the conditions and also the uh, humidity and by the way we need to add here some space humidity let me refresh one more time and say San Diego and let me send and as you can see now it says temperature conditions and then humidity so it worked and it looks awesome and here here let me just make sure that I'm getting the correct uh, weather forecasts I'm gonna say here San Diego and the humidity should be 77 so here it's 77 so it's correct and uh, finally once you have changed all of these things you need to run your you need to run your uh, Python file because sometimes it might it might not work here and it might just keep uh, loading your page and it might not work so you would have sometimes you would have to change to uh, to run your your Python file and also don't forget to unco to comment this uh, these two lines out because we don't we don't want to train our chatbot if you keep training your chatbot it's gonna take a lot of time I'm just here commenting these out uh, these uh, these lines out because I don't want to use them for now but but other than this it worked and now and now as you can see our application is is a weather chatbot application that is specialized in something which is awesome